Hi guys, I'm Profits from WildProfits.com. Welcome to the second video in Profits' Gold Making Series, Volume 1. The prior video talked about real quick about introductions and what it means to be a gold maker. Now we're going to get into the guts of Trade Skill Master and we're going to talk about groups and what it means to have groups and how groups benefit you while using this auction house add-on. Let's get started. So groups, as you can see, if you open up Trade Skill Master by typing forward slash TSM or from your minimap, you'll have a minimap icon that looks like this. You can launch that as well, just left clicking it, and it'll bring up the main window of Trade Skill Master. The groups icon is actually the little crystal symbol. You see these symbols across the top options, groups, module operations, tooltips and then your secondary uh, modules whichever you have installed to support Trade Skill Master on the right side. This crystal symbol is your group so if you left, left click on that it'll bring you inside the group structure of Trade Skill Master. Real quick groups are basically uh, ways consider it like a library like an index card system in a library uh, it's a way to actually categorize or catalog your inventory or whatever items, gear, that you plan on using in the auction house. Regardless of what you're doing, them, you put them in groups. It's a way just, again, to keep things organized. So groups are like an organization of items, if you want to call it that. Break it down that simple. With groups, you basically move inventory from your bags, or if you're using import strings, we'll talk about that in another video a more advanced video you basically move items into groups you have the structure of groups start from a parent which is a top level group and then underneath that top level group you have subgroups so if we take a look at this flipping group that I have this is a top level group notice that it's in gold color the color could change based upon the theme that you're using I'm using a profits theme which is kind of like a deep crimson red uh, theme. We can talk about that in another video as well. But the top level group, notice this little minus symbol. I can collapse that and these are your top level groups. If I expand it by clicking the plus, these are the subgroups. And that's basically it to groups. You have top level parent group and then you have subgroups underneath those. Underneath the subgroups you have items which if you look over on the right hand side of this window you click on the items tab to the right of operations and you'll see items for each of the subgroups items inside of subgroups the reason why this is structured like this is it gives you some flexibility to be able to apply operations which we'll talk about in a minute to these groups so let's say that you had a certain rule we'll call these well let's let's talk about operations operations groups by themselves are just a catalog of inventory an organized system of inventory however you want to organize your information or your uh, items that you have that you want to interact with in the auction house operations are basically rules that you want to apply to those groups a group by itself will do absolutely nothing for you until you apply an operation or a rule business rule or an action that you want to use with that group does that make sense think about that for a moment a group by itself will do nothing unless you apply operations as you can see in the operations tab by clicking on your subgroup or clicking on the parent group subgroup parent group any of these you can apply what's called in Trade Skill Master operations. Notice in operations you have several functions, if you will, that you can apply to groups. For instance, auctioning. Auctioning is a way simply to sell your items back to the auction house. Crafting, you guessed it, to craft. It's a rule to be able to craft with this group or the items in that group. Mailing, yes, you can actually mail based upon the items in your group. Restocker, shopping. Shopping is 
you guessed it, buying from the auction house. Auctioning is selling, shopping is buying. These are the two primary operations that we're going to be talking about in this video. And then you have warehousing, uh, which is another video that we'll be talking about. So going back to subgroups, again, auctioning tells it that you want to sell it, sell these items from this subgroup on the auction house. And you do that basically by applying a rule or a function to it. I'm, I'm break, basically renaming or relabeling operations to be more common term of a rule. What do you want, or an action, what do you want that actual group to do, or the items in that group? What you can do with operations is you can apply an operation at the top parent level, and notice I have all these subgroups underneath it. They will actually take advantage of that top level rule or operation unless I go to these subgroups and override the parent group. So it's like an inherited rule system, if you will. Top level flipping group, if I define an auctioning rule there to sell stuff on the auction house, every subgroup underneath that will follow that rule unless I tell it otherwise in a subgroup. So this gives you some powerful flexibility to be able to granularly define or as as uh, small as you want to get with rules and operations to be able to define subgroups and tell them what to do and you can even have subgroups underneath subgroups I don't recommend that don't get too fancy with your groups try to keep them at a high level it'll make your operations and your interaction with the auction house a lot easier and a lot easier to maintain you notice looking at my group structure I hardly ever go into a subgroup of a subgroup. Notice all of mine are mostly just a parent and subgroups. Parent, subgroups. Parent, subgroups. When you go into some professions, sometimes they break them down automatically. Trade Skill Master will pop up a window if you have jewel crafting and it will say, do you want me, I notice you have this skill, do you want me to break this down for you and automatically create the group structure for you. If you click yes to that prompt, you'll notice that it will create the top level group called professions underneath there it will create a subgroup called jewel crafting which would match your professions that you have underneath there it has two more sub subgroups called crafts and materials that's a way that it breaks down that structure for you uh, more granularly so it gives you some flexibility to apply operations to those groups if you so choose so that is basically the overview of groups. The most important thing to realize is, again, groups are a structure to organize your inventory. And without applying operations to them, they do not do anything. They might look pretty, like me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But they do nothing until you apply business rules or operations to them. So that's cool. So look forward to that. And obviously, uh, we look forward to more videos uh, from this series and will take you deeper and deeper into Trade Skill Master. So thank you for your time guys and again we will break down specifically in the next video what it means to apply operations specifically talking about auctioning and shopping for now to groups and subgroups. Thank you for watching this video guys. I'm Profits from WildProfits.com and I hope you, you enjoyed this. I do Look forward to hearing your feedback on this video series. I'm trying to keep them very small in length so you can uh, listen to them at your leisure and go back to them as a point of reference. So if you do have suggestions, critiques, or comments, feel free to email me, wildprofits at gmail.com, or reach me on Twitter, at wildprofits. Appreciate it, guys. Take care, and I'll see you on Volume 1 of Operations in the next video. Take care.